Okay, yeah, not a problem. You want to start the interview now? Yeah, of course. Awesome. So can you tell me your purpose in becoming a psychologist? Well, I thought my purpose is to get a better understanding of people's thought process. And since I have the strengths such as analytical and positivity, I'm able to associate with them easier and to eliminate their problems with mental illnesses and possibly even like marriages that might be failing and also to give them a better understanding of how to be a better parent. Alrighty. So could you explain to me how your purpose relates to your values, goals, and interests? Well, I feel like I value everyone's opinions and feelings and I have this goal of mine that I've always wanted to reach people on a mental level all around the world and I get to do that every day. I have people fly in from everywhere to come and see me with their mental issues and even something as simple as parenting issues they come to me. I also have a very large interest in understanding people and I think that's what drives me in my purpose daily. So could you give me an example on how your purpose relates to your career? Well, to sum up my purpose, I feel that I help people and that is my purpose in life. And this one specific time, this kid in high school came to me, his name was Johnny, and he had this anxiety disorder. And through therapy and medication, we ended up overcoming his anxiety and now he lives a happy life and has three beautiful children. So could you tell me what schools you attended to achieve your psychology degree? Well, first I got my AA degree at Valencia and then I went into the Direct Connect program into UCF and I really wanted to go into UCF because they're very well known for their psychology program and I thought that that went hand in hand with all of my values, goals, and interests and even my purpose in life because it would help me be, to become a better psychologist in the end and at UCF I did end up getting my master's and my bachelor's degree. So from a financial perspective, how much was this education? Well, Valencia for my AA degree was $6,100 and all that was covered by my grant. Um, it paid for my books, my classes and everything and I even got a refund at the end that I could spend on anything. But when I did transfer to UCF, that was $25,000 that I had to pay for my tuition for my bachelor's and master's. Uh, but I did get a Lewis Holt scholarship which covered for $5,000 of that debt. So in the end, I have $20,000 in student loans debt, but I'm working up to paying that off pretty soon. Can you tell me some resources that you utilize to enhance your college experience to become more successful? Well, first, my freshman year, I took um, this class called New Student Experience, and it really helps me understand what I'm really good at and my strengths that I have. And it made me realize that I am a people person, and I really understand people. And also, another resource I used was my mom, because she's an accountant, so she helped me with all of my math classes. And also, at Valencia, they have these really awesome centers, like the Math Center, the Writing Center, which really helped me better have an understanding of all the classes I was taking and also the support from my wonderful advisors, they really helped me get through everything and it was really awesome. So what was your post-graduation steps in becoming a licensed psychologist? Well first I had to take an additional two years of classes with supervision. I also had to internship, I internshiped at my Topa Bobito. Um, it was a wonderful experience there. I had a wonderful experience and I learned a lot. Um, I also had to take a four hour exam to get the license of a mental health counselor. And now every two years I have to take 30 hours of continuing education to maintain my license. So could you give me a job description and like the daily duties of work as a mental health counselor? Well, I conduct mental health assessments. I develop treatment plans for a wide range of people. Um, I lead therapy sessions and my hours are pretty flexible. I work Monday through Thursday and I work mainly after school hours since I um, usually only care for children but I do care for adults and I will work around their schedule as well and usually I have 12 to 18 clients per week. So what characteristics would I have to possess to be a successful mental health counselor? 
Well, first, you have to be a people person. Like I said before, I realized that I was a people person. I'm very outgoing, sociable, and you have to value people. You have to have an unbiased opinion when you're dealing with parenting and in marriages as well. You have to be able to interpret the education you have learned and be able to apply it to real life and real people. And you have to be really good at problem solving. You have to figure out what's the root of their problem and then start there. So who inspired you to become a mental health counselor? Well, when I was your age, I did exactly what we're doing now. I conducted an interview with Jill Schaefer. She's a family and kids therapist. And she really opened my eyes to the opportunities that I could have and really gave me really good advice with the social work programs in master, in, for your master's degree. And she really made it easier to solidify what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Well, Ms. Johnson, it's been so wonderful getting some advice from you today. I've learned so much about all the possibilities of being a psychologist and understanding other people and what my purpose is and what I can use to better my career. Well, it was very nice, nice to meet you, to Natalie. Meet you. <laughs>